Hello and welcome back. This is Tron from Homegrown Audio and now we're gonna see simple sound design on Serum, random modulation and how to make some FM sounds, leads. Anyway, I want to do some FM leads. So first of all, let's explain what is FM. Well, it just means that you're modulating one oscillator with the other oscillator. You are injecting one wave into another in layman's terms. Well, you can also do it with the LFO on the filter, but in this case, we'll just do it with the oscillators. Let's see it in the oscilloscope so we understand it. So the more FM amount that you inject into this oscillator is going to give you more upper harmonics and potentially very nice leads. So let's make a basic FM synth and go from there. Let's go to a new serum. So we're going to modulate the oscillator A with the sub oscillator and you'll see it's a little bit limited to use the sub oscillator as FM source because it only has basic waves and no wavetables and very limited controls. macros just to get a little bit of coordinated movement so when I push up this when I push up the amount the, the FM amount is a little bit harsh let's assign this macro to the filter cutoff but let's reverse its polarity this way as the FM goes up the filter goes down Let's just leave this for now. So I have duplicated the same channel. And now let's select the FM from oscillator B. Notice how it sounds when I move the wavetable position. So this time we're going to use a wavetable as a source. It's going to give us a lot more possibilities because of how the wavetables work. Let's assign this note on random into the wavetable position. See how it changes randomly every time a MIDI note is played. Let's also assign a note on random to the filter cutoff. And yes, I forgot to turn down the level of oscillator B. Thank you. 
this kind of sounds all right. Let's start randomizing a little bit other stuff, like the note length. And now I'm going to lay this out, put it in another part of the track. Well, that's all for now. So if you like this and find it useful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you need further explanation or anything, just let us know below in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.